will have the issue where you have a project the project is a copy, a perfect copy, but now you have to switch it from Rockwell to a Siemens PLC. So what you can do now, uh, using an interesting option, even though you don't have that option, you can still do it. I'm having this uh, Siemens uh, PLC being used. So instead of using the Allen Bradley 1756, I'm going to switch it over to a Siemens uh, PLC. Now, as I check this checkbox here, my page in the background will disappear and a new page will appear instead. Of course I could have uh, created that page and uh, I'm replacing the overview page of the Allen Bradley for uh, the uh, Siemens overview page. Now this actually created uh, in ePlan using the options module two different pages as you can see down at the bottom here. I'm going to open one of them and you will see we have a complete different uh, system here uh, this particular system here, what we do have is a Siemens PLC, Siemens PLCs with Siemens cards. And at this point here, uh, of course, if we uh, look at uh, Siemens uh, input or output, uh, the I.O. addresses will also be different. So you might actually want to consider an interesting feature of ePlan, which is the PLC readdress. I want to show it to you here. Uh, we pick basically the existing uh, PLC card that we want and using whatever PLC configuration we have, let's assume this is a European version of it, start with 0.0, .0 so for the first one, it goes down and readdresses all the addresses on this page. Uh, on the next page, I also have a few uh, cards, I actually have two of them. I can do the same thing again, just to show you what we do is we select actually the uh, the PLC cards that you want to renumber. I could have done the whole project at the same time, but I just want to show you how this works. PLC, PLC address, and here you specify what the starting address is. Now, uh, here it automatically picks up that we already had up to uh, 3.0 on the previous page, so here it just proposes 4.0 as your uh, possible address. Now, of course, this now renumbers all the I.O. addresses. I'm going to show you. I'm, I'm going to zoom in uh, so you can see uh, better here. You can see the different I.O. addresses that were actually done. So zoom window here, click, click, and you can see, see these inputs and outputs. Of course, the European version, which uses an A and an E. Now what is missing is the correction of the schematics. In the schematics, I may have multiple different schematic pages like this one here let me just show you these are actually some inputs and uh, these inputs uh, are still with the pins and IO addresses of the Allen Bradley as you can see here so what I'm going to do in this particular one is I'm going to show you that I can reattach all these drawn input schematics to the overview and the way we do this in ePlan is we open the uh, PLC Navigator, which allows you to navigate through all the systems. Uh, inside this navigator, I will filter. Let's start with the inputs first here for all the inputs. I'm going to filter it down. This shows me the different PLC cards that do have inputs all over the place. You can actually see here at the bottom and even on a different page. I'm going to select all these inputs here. And I will reattach or reassign them in the ePlan language. It's called use connection point blockwise. I'm going to reattach them to uh, the um, inputs that we just inserted from Siemens. Here, by activating this, I can see here my two PLC cards from Siemens. I will actually attach them. On the right hand side you can see that it's transferred and you can see here at the top the PLC I01-00 gets replaced by E00. Even the pin connection is changed from pin 1 it's now pin 2 on X1. So I'll just confirm this and for those of you who actually use ePlan here's an interesting way I'm going to show you the same thing now for outputs. Now what I did is I created a digital output filter uh, this filter, as you know here, is just looking for uh, PLC outputs multi-line representation. So when I activate the filter, I can find here and see all the outputs that I have. I select them. Of course, if you'd open them, 
you basically see all these different out in or outputs, right? Now, by having done this one, select them. You run now the next menu, which is PLC use connection blockwise. This is to attach them to the uh, PLC output from Siemens. So here, digital output, PLCs. And it happens to be that the Siemens ones, I call them K something. So there's one PLC card here, as you can see, that has these outputs. You can see the A4.0, etc. So I'll take these ones. And you can see on the right hand side, they got assigned. So the output 0103/00 gets now replaced by A4.0. Now, once this is done, you have completed your exchange between a Rockwell to a um, Siemens. So let's show you what happened. First of all, on all the schematics, we actually did replace now the inputs and the outputs, as you can see here. And you can see here E0.1, if I double click on it, you will see that it's actually pin 3 instead of what it was earlier, pin 2. All this is actually done. Plus, what it also did on the overview page, it actually linked the overview page with all the details that are typically expected on the overview page. Uh, here, I'm going to show you, I'm going to zoom in on the right corner here, and you can see what we do in ePlan with this overview. We can give you, in one small view, the usage of each of these inputs and outputs, and where they are, on which page. Some of them are on page 50, some of them may be on 51, etc. So this was exchanging an Allen Bradley PLC to a Siemens PLC in an existing project, readdressing everything and resetting all the pins. Now, of course, everything is set to go, 